Jason Terrence Phillips born May 27, 1975. Detter known by his stage name Jadakus, is an American rapper from Yonkers, New York. He began his career in the 1990s. As one-third of the rap trio, the locks alongside Styles P. Ed Sheeklouch, the group released their debut album, Money. Tower and Respect 1998 for Bad Boy Records, while its follow-up, We Are the Streets 2000 was released for Rough Riders Entertainment. An imprint of Interscope Records, both albums peaked within the top five of the Billboard 200 and received critical praise as of 2023. Jadok his net worth is estimated to be around $6 million, according to Celebrity Net Worth. This figure includes income from his music career, performances, and business ventures. During the group's hiatus after their second album, Jadakus signed with Rough Riders as a solo act to release his first two albums, Kiss the Game Goodbye 2001 and Kiss of Death 2004. Both were met with positive reception, and the latter peaked atop the Billboard 200. He released the collaborative album with hometown rapper Fabulous with Friday on Elm Street in 2017 and his fifth solo album, Ignatius, in 2020. Jason Terrence Phillips was born on May 27, 1975, in Yonkers, New York, and had an interest in hip-hop from an early age. At age 12, he began hustling after his parents asked him to earn his own money. He began freestyle rapping for money after watching other people do it on the street corner. While freestyling, he eventually met longtime friends Sheik Louch and Styles P. Phillips quickly developed a small underground fan base, and at the age of 12, entered himself into a freestyle competition in Florida where he attracted the attention of the owners of Rough Riders, along with Styles and Louch. He formed a group known as the Warlocks, and the trio began rapping together. They eventually met Mary J. Blige, who, impressed with their lyrics, handed their demo to Puff Daddy, who signed the group to his label Bad Bull. Upon signing with Bad Bull, Puff Daddy shortened the group's name from the Warlocks to simply the Locks. The group developed a close relationship with B.I.G., during which time Jadakus especially was taken under his wing. The Locks's first hit song was a tribute to the notorious B.I.G. In the wake of his 1997 death, titled We'll Always Love Big Papa. The success and reception of the song opened the door for them to write more of their own songs, and in 1998, the Locks released their debut studio album, Money, Power and Respect. The album was both a commercial and critical success, teaking at number 3 on the Billboard 200 and number 1 on the US Top R&B, Hip Hop Albums Chart, and went on to achieve platinum status. Though the record was successful, the Locks grew unhappy with Bad Boy and Puff Daddy's glossy, radio-friendly production, feeling it conflicted with their grimmier street aesthetic. Following the release of their debut album, the group left the label to sign with Rough Riders. They released their second album, We Are The Streets, in 2000. Through Rough Riders, the album was once again a success, teaking at number 5 on the Billboard 200 and number 2 on the US Top R&B, Hip Hop Albums Chart. Jadakus began embarking on a solo career in 2001, and his debut album, Kiss the Game Goodbye, was released in August 2001 on the Rough Riders, Interscope label. Despite commercial success, the album received negative reception from critics who criticized the album for being repetitive and uninspired. In 2009, Jadakus released his much-delayed and anticipated third studio album, The Last Kiss, on June 4, 2013. Jadakus released the first single from his by then upcoming fourth studio album, Top 5, Dead or Alive titled Big Bo Dialogue, featuring vocals from The Dream. The album was scheduled to be released during September or October 2013, but after much delay, the album was finally released on November 20, 2015. In 2016, The Locks released their first album in 16 years, titled Filthy America. It's Beautiful. The album featured guest appearances from Fetty Wap, Mob Deep, Ben Gucci Mane, and peaked at number 42 on the Billboard 200. Following their victory, streams of Locks music increased by 215%, including Jadakus, who shot ya, freestyle both studio and live versions, being added to the iTunes Store and Apple Music 11 years after its initial release. Jadakus was also dubbed Mr. 
Verzu's after becoming the first artist to win two battles, and was able to restructure his Diff Jam contract just over a year after the battle, while they were performing at the Cool J's Rock to Bells Festival at Forest Hills Stadium in Queens. Jadakus presented Styles B and Sheik Louch with Locks Championship rings and unveiled his, along with longtime friend and business associate. Jay Jackson and Jadakus launched an online multimedia creative collective called Seraspi, that also serves as an umbrella company for his business. Endeavors which include an online publication, record label, apparel, and a YouTube channel, reinvesting in their community in the summer of 2014. Jadakus and Styles P opened a juice bar in Yonkers, New York, called Juices for Life, together. They have gone on to open to more branches in the Bronx and one in Brooklyn. On July 5, 2004, Jadakus was arrested in North Carolina on marijuana and illicit gun possession charges. Police arrested two men on multiple felony charges after they raided Jadakus Yonkers. New York apartment and found heroin 5 grams and marijuana 6.5 pounds. Jadakus was neither present during the investigation, nor wanted by the law enforcement agencies. Both men were reportedly in police custody and had been criminally charged. Thank you for watching. Kindly like and subscribe as we bring you more on celebrity news.